All right, so Valve just decided to do something crazy. Uh, they say that scripting and automation has been a very important part of their game. So developing things like jump turbines was a hugely controversial topic. Eventually they were like, you know what? This is good for the game and they left it in. Uh, meanwhile, with Counter-Strike 2, they want to argue that no longer do you need a jump turbine. You can simply jump and on a timing release a smoke and that is a jump throw and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but it raises the question, what about W jump throws, step jump throws? Uh, that's a really big issue. Basically, what they were trying to combat is uh, SnapTap, uh, SOCD, there's a lot of names for it, but basically hardware level cheats where a piece of hardware like a keyboard is going to do a script, run an automation for you in order to help you with a competitive advantage, whether that's like, you know, better counter strafing, whatever it might be. Um, but anyway, so they made a bold move. Not only did they say, hey, snap tap is bad for the game. They went back and they're like, uh, actually jump throws are bad for our game too. Uh, anything that is script related, we're just done with. You can jump and release the grenade on a timing and that's perfectly fine. Is that perfectly fine? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Twist was asking the same question <laughs> right before the Close qualifier for the RMR, Valve decides to release this update, and he says, if I'm not mistaken, any nade that is required for you to forward throw against a wall is going to be inconsistent now without a bind. So speaking of like instant mirage window smokes, uh, but Vinny steps in and says, actually, it is consistent. So if you bind a key with minus attack, you could do space bar, so aka jump, then key, which would be the minus attack plus W together. So uh basically plus jump key so whether that's space bar or scroll wheel minus attack key maybe that's your old jump throw bind plus w so that's three key combinations it's doable uh and i'm going to show you how to do it so i'm going to show you with this little auto exec right here so gone are the days of our w and regular jump throw binds sad day but these are the three things that you need and i'm going to paste this in the description below so all you need is bind any key. I'm using C because that was my old jump throw bind as minus attack. I'm using mouse wheel, mouse wheel up as my jump, but it could be like space bar or mouse wheel down, for example. And then you just need like a W key, a forward key. So I use WASD for my movement. Some people are weird and might bind this differently, but this is the bare bones that you need in order to craft your new step jump turbine and i am going to be loaded into a server just to show you that that is in fact a doable thing there we go jumping into the server now so i am going to show you that instant spawns work so i can show you multiple spawns we're going to line up like this it's still new to me so bear with me but you do all three combinations at once so i'm going to jump press w and hit my minus attack button all at once so like no. this So it's not so easy. There we go. So I messed it up the first time. But there we go. It's not so easy and that's the sad part. Let me clear the smoke. But you can see that one hit. This is another spawn. So is this one going to hit? It will indeed. So not all of our smokes are now useless but this is not exactly the easiest thing to do especially when you're under pressure what used to be just like one single button to do all three of those steps to walk forward in one step to release your smoke and to jump throw or to jump rather that was a whole lot nicer now we have to do this like <laughs> sketchy three key press all at once and clearly gets the job done but does it have to be this difficult, Valve? Like, are, are we sure this is the only way? I don't like it myself. I think it's a terrible change. I think that getting rid of Snap Tap was necessary. Snap Tap was absolutely a cheat, but this is just a step too far in my own opinion. All right, again, we have this test auto exec that I showed you. I'm going to change these to just like key, key, and key but like you saw you can replace it with whatever you want but this is going to be the core of your auto exec and what you're going to do is you're going to save it with this file path that i'm going to post in the description below but 
what you're going to want to do is follow this file path. You can copy and paste the file path up here to get to where you need to go. Or you could go to program files x86 steam. Scrolling down to steam apps, common, counter strike. And then you're going to go to game, not CSGO, go to game and CSGO, CFG. And that's where you want to be. And then you're going to select all files and save this as auto exec dot cfg as you can see i already have one so i'm not going to save right now but that's what it's going to look like and then you're going to be able to start building um an auto exec off of this and then one steam launch option that i would recommend doing as well so go to your library in steam and then just go to counter strike go to properties and then within the general tab as you can see i have my plus exec auto exec dot cfg so that will make sure that when you're launching the game, whatever you have in your auto exec is going to launch. You can have a much more complicated auto exec and we could get into that maybe someday with all of these different commands that I have. Like I have my set uh, sensitivity and I have just a lot of different like personal settings. So if I load into a new computer, I can load up with everything that I am used to. But for now, I'm going to leave it really basic and just talk about how to do a jump throw in 2024. <laughs> so uh, it sucks. But obviously Valve had to do something with SnapTap. Maybe they will change it and add a jump throw bind or a step jump throw bind in the game itself. But until then, here's a workaround. It's only okay, but at least it works. So hope you like the content. Take it easy, guys.